I wouldn't do that though. Um, this, this might be a F2. It's hard angle. to figure out who's the evil. This might be a F2. Yeah, they're into it. Um, so yeah, like Josh was just saying, yeah, you play this matchup the exact same way as you did a year ago. Yeah. Um, and he was just like, your, your actions are like robotic. Like where you, the spots that you do your tilts are like really obvious. Yeah, like the up tilts. You don't, you don't kind of like, you know, you don't really have like a sense of like doing things, you know, not in your optimal timing, right? Like yeah. just doing, just popping things out sort of thing, right? Um, and he's like, yeah, so. And, like, he talked to me, you know, the year before, kind of saying, like, you know, you should, when you are playing, keep an eye out for what the other person does. That was a sick combo. Yeah. Um, keep an eye out for what the other person does when you move forward. Right? So how do they react yep. to you moving forward? Yeah. Right? Um, and so he told me that one year, and then, you know, the next year he comes back and he's like, you play the same way. And I'm like, okay. And so I asked him a bunch of questions, and he was like, yeah, you need to be a lot closer to Fox before you even think about, like, acting. Because at the moment, like, you're getting openings, yeah, but you're only getting them at the mid-range, right? And that's easily counterable. So yep. you actually, in order, oh my god, that's a stop. Oh, oh clutch. Um, Clyde was swinging on his chair like that this. That was clutch, actually. So, dead. dead. Stone. He's, he's, he's rough. That's a rough one. He's a rockman. Uh, so, oh. Almost got the turn around. And so, yeah, he's like, you need to be a lot closer to Fox in order, like, and... Sorry, yeah. Uh, you need to not play the mid-range uh, as much as you are because you'll get, like, owned for doing that over and over and over again. You need to be able to, like, get closer to me or get closer to the Fox just so that you can, like, you know, make me do something that you can hit me for outside of that. Oh, sorry, closer than, like, the mid-range, right? Like, you, you can play the mid-range, you're fine with that. It's just that, you know, where I'm getting actually opened up is this area where I haven't changed my gameplay at all. Yeah. So, after that, you know, I, at the, I played for a little bit longer, and then we had that evac, and then the cloud kind of beat me, and I felt super lost. I was like, you know, it really felt like... You pulled out all the stops and it wasn't no, enough? No, not really. Or? It was just like, I just didn't understand, like, you know, what it was that I was kind of missing here. Right? Yeah. Um, and you know, McCloud talked to me a little bit after the set, right? And he's talking about like we're talking just casually, and um, he's saying, and like kind of what we agreed on was like when we're like having these scuffles, like when one person approaches and we get close or we do an attack, just pay attention, and you don't have to punish them for it, but just pay attention and, and notice and observe and be like, take note of when the person does the thing that you would normally do and then and then like after you kind of observe that enough times and make a note of it enough times then you can kind of try and read it and punish it yeah so what he means by that is like when we get close like do i go forward or do i go backward right mm. and same applies for the other person do they go forward or do they go backward and so now when i'm playing i'm trying to be in that kind of yeah, this is, this is finals, thank you. Uh, so now when I'm playing, I'm trying to spend a lot more time actually threatening stuff without acting. Like, right. just moving. In a dash, way, dashing. if you were to do something here... Yeah, if I were to do something here, you know, it would be, like, you shouldn't, like, pro you shouldn't try to challenge me on that, right? Yeah. But then just not doing it. And the more you do that, the more the other person will start to try and, like, you know, swing at you yeah and then what that means is like you can you know do your boxes weave you know and you can condition them um ah uh, fair enough yep yep fair enough man he, like very very gracious of Cocker as we had the tournament there yeah um yeah so uh, yeah, so, yeah, doing the boxes with more, doing your footsies more, um, they'll swing at you, right? And then you can start moving forward and then moving backward, and then they just whiff in front of you, and you're like, sick. Right? That, that was a sick, sick combo, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Just falling with Holy two nerds. Holy shit. McCarthy's movement's insane, actually. Um, nice. Oh, cute combo. So at the moment, Coffee Rex is just kind of missing. Like he's a bit too early on some inputs, and that's why these follow-ups are just kind like of that. Dry. Yeah, as you say. Yeah, that. he's just pressing things a bit too early, yeah. basically. 
And so yeah, this is kind of what I was saying, right? Is like, you don't have to do it like straight. You don't have to do your actions straight away. You can, uh, and like McLeod said this to me as well. Was like, why? Like, if you're playing Josh, right, and he knocks you down, and he approaches your waking up body, and thinks, I could hit him, right? There's a chance I could hit him here on the wake up or whatever, right? Why would he choose to take that risk when he knows if he just looks like he's going to do that and then dash back and then dash in, that he can get an opening on me guaranteed every yeah. time if I'm just like acting, right? Yep. I'm, I'm scared, right? I have to act. So that's kind of like what I feel like Coffee Rex would also like benefit from a bit, right? It's just like that threatening, right? Yeah. Like, the whole like, I can take a risk because I'm I might not be as fast as I need to be to get like a true follow up, or I can just do the next best thing and make it look like I'm gonna try and do that. Yeah. And it's so simple to like put it this way, right? But you don't really realize it because until, um, or rather, it doesn't seem to. M How do I put this? Like, it matters mo a lot more than you think it does when you like. Once you kind of get more of a sense of like how fast the game actually is and how much time you have to, to do something or to not do something. Yeah. And that's a 30. That's it. G that's a GG. It's a 30. <laughs> I've not heard that before. That's awesome. 30? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's great. That is a common one, I feel. All right.